Hey RVers and future RVers, I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Today we have an awesome coverage of the new Camp 400 for the 2024 model year. 400 is the bigger uh, teardrop of their collection and is definitely one that you gotta put on your list to see. Let's go take a peek. Some of the awesome exterior features on the new 2024 New Camp 400 start up front. We have a diamond plate propane storage that gives you uh, the, uh, all that propane tank and um, essential like hoses and stuff out of the weather elements just to protect it that much more. I love the usage of the storage space up here. A lot of campers on the A-frame don't use it like like new camp has so we can we got imagine firewood we have a, um, a, a, a maybe like a toolbox or something we can put up there and keep it out of the vehicle keep it out of the camper all right let's move to the door side nice big door here to be able to navigate in and out especially if my hands are full or more importantly i'm six one doesn't take any extra hair follicles as i as i walk in big um, sturdy step here that tucks up underneath but I like the width of it so that way you're getting in and out that much more secure with a tough grab bar here I mean literally I'm shaking the whole camper we've got a couple extra outlets here on the outside if we've got uh, some stuff that we want to plug in maybe some extra lighting or something uh, like cooking utilities and speaking of uh, cooking utilities the table that's inside this is what this is for um, a um, ability to bring that outside slide in here now we have some extra counter space or uh, uh, to, to you know throw up maybe some goodies or maybe it's my happy hour bar on the outside storage 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 i'm all about storage this goes up underneath the bed here it even has a light so that way i can um, grab some of those uh, essential hookup maybe like my my uh, leveling blocks or, or chalks or something at night that way i know how to fish it out or see what i'm doing really right all right moving on to the back you're gonna see bigger window in the back and the front than some of their other teardrops but up top we have a solar panel so definitely do some research because these can be uh, outfitted a lot differently especially when you see on the inside this one has the bunk bed set up in the front but you have lithium uh, different banks of uh, lithium power you have uh, solar panels you have the, even the inverter that can take some of the 12 volt and turn it into 110 for some of your 110 outlet so um, do some research, but this particular model obviously has the solar panel and, and the lithium package. And then last but not least, all your hookups are nice, nicely centrally located here again with another light. So that way I'm doing it at night. I've got the ability to hook up um, more with some more confidence or not have to strong arm a, uh, a buddy to come out and help me hold a flashlight. But you'll notice all the water hookup here, whether you're um, hooking up to your city hookup far as at the campground, you're trying to fill your tank. Heck, are you even trying to sanitize or winterize your system? They have a nice color-coded valve system with a sticker here that is um, all labeled on positioning of those important valves. So that way the job is easily done and more, more um, uh, confidently as well. So there you go. Some of the quick exterior features that we had to point out on the new 400. All right, we're inside the cool 2020 Ford New Camp 400. We're going to talk about some of the features uh, again on the 24 model year. Uh, of course, keep in mind some of the packages are different. So today we're covering one, for example, that has the um, the hideaway bed, uh, the bunk bed set up. So coming in the door, I love just the, the lighting that they use on this. And of course, all the windows um, that they have in the product, which you can um, change with the screen slash uh, nightshade. And certainly all the windows open up. Up, it that's in my mind the best window in the system not only is it double pane window um, so it gives you a little bit more security against those uh, extreme temperature changes but also it's the uh, four latches on every window that gives me more security to keep water uh, out but it also pitches out so I can really on a nice day get a lot of airflow coming through um, but the door itself, I got a note when I came in that that's that I call the aircraft style kind of door. It's it's more secure. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they use a double seal um, uh, construction on it. So again, water intrusion, 
don't have to worry about it. But even the fact that they integrated little pockets that I can keep for storage and heck even like a little, um, uh, I don't wanna say trash can down here, but I definitely have a dog that goes camping with us. So I know what that would be. That would probably be like the, the poop bags. But anyway, moving up front, again, this model is equipped with the bunk bed setup. So we have a nice table that uh, we can tighten up and keep in place or we can keep it loose and kind of move it around based on, especially if somebody needs to navigate inside there, playing, uh, playing some cards, doing a little breakfast, that kind of thing. So by day, you can easily have this as your dinette. And then at night, if you have some kids that uh, they're coming with you or some maybe some camping friends, we can set that into a, um, a, hide a, um, a bunk bed setup. So we're gonna get into that. We're gonna speed up and roll through and watch how it's set up. All right, so a little clumsy on my first first go at it, but essentially you have to just obviously have a system for the cushions. But now I've got a, a bunk bed that I can easily sleep a toddler or um, somebody up there that's a little bit obviously smaller. I don't think I'm going up there, but now we have a teardrop that can sleep more than just two. All right, so go, going on the door side, we have our uh, big kitchen. I love a uh, lot of counter space, uh, double, especially your, um, extra covers here for the sink and your two burner stove so we can really lay out everything that's we, that we need maybe electric griddle uh, coffee pot etc um, a lot of storage cubby holes that they, they basically making sure that every little little space is is utilized for some kind of storage aspect of it regardless of what you have of course we can if we the two burner stove top doesn't work for you you have your microwave to get that maybe late night popcorn break or uh, re do some reheats a lot of storage again underneath we have our soft closed drawers some big spaces that we have down here to really throw maybe some pots and pans or our big bulky kitchen items. And then uh, likewise, underneath the sink, we have a lot of storage there. We can even maybe throw like a small trash can on the top shelf and just get that out of that floor space and be able to get through the whole camper. Moving to the back, love the 400 because it's a little bit longer. We have a full, full bed nice big window some cubby space back here but we have a lot more um i guess just uh comfort in here to be able to uh stretch our legs and especially two adults can can make up a bed and have a nice double sized bed back here but a little cubby hold uh for maybe a charging station for your um for your uh little portable devices tv across from from that so we can get in a light night movie, kind of decompress or, or whatever, but plenty of outlets, plenty of lighting and heating, air conditioning is definitely gonna keep this back area, uh, keep, it, keep it cozy for you on your camping trip. Moving back to the uh, front, again, more storage. We have a lot, of, a lot of storage here underneath the refrigerator, big, big drawer here, deep drawer big cubby hole underneath of that and then of course our refrigerator to give us the capacity to keep some of our our um, perishables cold get a little tunes in you got your stereo and you can certainly bluetooth in some of your uh, favorite playlists off of your phone and then the bathroom finishing up on this uh, 400 is my favorite wet bath they de we have a lot of uh, floor space here at the uh, um, uh, that's in this design here so you're not feeling like you know, with most traditional wet baths, you're sitting on the toilet, taking a shower and brushing your teeth all at one. Here, you've got a dedicated uh, sink that's in the corner that's kind of pushed up out of the way. So that way, whether if you're showering or you're having to use the toilet, you don't feel like you're just, you're, you're, you're claustrophobic inside. And on top of that, again, they're uh, throwing in some more storage on the, the wall on the um, outside of the, or I shouldn't say outside, the, the side wall here. So you can throw some of maybe some linen, some toiletries, etc. Nice vent uh, at the top, a lot of backlight. So you can get um, get some visibility there. And most uh, important of all, they've got a portal window, which is, which is cute. But again, just to get uh, the ability to have some light come in, especially if you're, um, try you know got a dark dark morning or dark night so again here we go this is the 400 uh, that's made by new camp all the nice features for the 2024 model there you have it teardrop lovers the 2024 new camp 400 pretty badass wouldn't you think 
Show us some love, smash that subscribe button. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on some of the features that you like or dislike or maybe some suggestions and more importantly, some questions that you need answers to. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We'll see you out at the campsites. Mm -hmm.